Welcome to Holt Fix It 101 and I sorry to all my subscribers and to my people that watch my channel um, that are not subscribers obviously uh, that I haven't put up a video just lately but there's a lot going on at the moment and uh, I just hadn't had the time to go and do it but it doesn't mean to say that I haven't been in my shop you know, uh, there's, I've done a hell of a lot in the shop since uh, you saw the shop last in the background. And uh, we can go through some of that. And I've also got a little bit of a review to do as well on something else that I've built. Um, so let's, let's, get, let's get to it. Welcome back. Now, one of the things that I have built in my shop just recently, I built a whole new cabinet, as you can see behind me. Uh, this was all kind of put together at a rush, and what well, the previous one was, and I'm afraid that it was, you know, it wasn't good enough for what I wanted in my shop. So now I built a whole new cupboard um, to put to house all these nice boxes and now they slide in and out no problem whatsoever and uh, they, they're all interchangeable uh, you can change one of the boxes over to whatever you need and it also gives me a space in here to go and put my drills and everything else in the side cupboard there and it fits into the slot that I had there which is beside, be, behind me you can just about see it there's the, uh, there's the um, reach saw as I call it um, you know, so it, it, I had a limited amount of space that I was able to put it, but I made it so it goes in there. It's got nice hardwood edging on the ed on the outside of it, all varnished up, and it looks a nice centerpiece of my workshop now. Here you can see that it's a. Uh, um, this is where I keep all my screw storage. Uh, this was another one of the cabinets that I built and you can see it in the background of all my other videos uh, it, it's a little, well what can I say it, it's, it was rubbish to say the least of what I built but it sufficed at the time for what I needed uh, it was just thrown together again just to get these boxes up in there out the way but I needed something a little bit better something that matched the whole uh, decor of what I was trying to achieve in my workshop um, as you can see, everything, you know, while the surface is here, everything's been varnished and everything else is nice, you know, it is, is a welcoming place to actually work now. But I wanted something a little bit better on the, uh, on, you know, for keeping my screw storage. Again, these are these great big boxes there, multi-box boxes, you know, with all the little bins on the inside so you'd be able to put all your screws. Uh, but I only had the the six of those so it only would have come up to say like that height there so what I've done is I've added these two drawers as well now that that gives me great uh, uh, amount of uh, storage um, because I can actually these are on full extension drawer slides as well I've, I've put that in uh, but it's, it's great for keeping all my little tiny boxes of screws and things like that. I've got some machine screws up there, some oddments and stuff like that. It keeps them all out the way and it's, it's a lot better than what I had. Again, in the same way that I built that one over there, it's got hardwood edges so it hides all the ply and everything else. And it does look a part of the actual unit that's supposed to be here now. It took a little bit of time to get all the all this right and get all the grooves put in the in the plywood so it held these uh, plywood uh, shelves up. But it took a little bit of time, but it was worth it in the end. Now these are what I call my upright drawers. They are drawers. They're not cupboards by any means. They are drawers, and I know you're going to see the back of them, but I will I will show you what I mean. This, I pull this one out here and they slide out in that sort of fashion. Um, you can't see it at the moment but 
this is, I keep all my paints in this particular one in, in varnishes and I've got three three different drawers in here um, but uh, that's how they that's how they come out like that and I put this in here because I needed extra storage but I needed to get up the top there but I wanted drawers now the idea being that if I had draw horizontal drawers across there I wouldn't have been able to get in the top of the drawer so I put I put vertical drawers in and this has actually worked out very very well um, this one over here I'll get I'm, I'll be out of the shot but you'll be able to see what I'm doing uh, they, they come out as well you see like that and I keep a lot of there's some little shelves in there and I keep quite a lot of things in there and that is another project that I've been doing and it's all in the background of all the new videos that's going to be coming up in the future. Now having said all of that, this is what I want you to have a good look at. This is what I've been working on for a little while. This is my bobbin sander project. I've been, I took uh, one of these off-your-shelf bobbin sanders you can buy and it's posted there, there, and I uh, built one of these. Now this obviously has a much, much bigger bed than, than I have on any previous uh, bobbin sander, and one of those big commercial uh, bobbin sanders that you can buy, they are so, so expensive, so I've decided I'll build my own. And from that it's got built-in dust collection this also goes up and down like a bobbin sander should do I can change over the bobbins on here by undoing the nut on the top here and it's brilliant I've used it a couple of times now and I managed to you know get some laminate to go on the top because that was the problem of actually getting some of that um, the, pro the people that I usually get it from was out of stock at the time and it's taken them a little bit of time to get some back in so I've, I've managed to acquire some more laminate to go on the top and uh, I finished it off and I'll tell you what, I'm so so pleased with this. It works an absolute treat. Um, I'll, give you a, I'll give you a look around, I'll grab the camera and uh, we'll have a quick look around it and so you can see what I've been up to and what I've done and uh, here we go, I'll, I'll grab the camera. Right, I'm behind the camera now, well, sorry about it being a bit shaky, but uh, I'm behind it, you know, holding it around so you can actually see what's going on. I'll zoom up there on the actual bobbin for you. There's the bobbin on the top, and I've, I've uh, inlaid the uh, piece on the top here, as you can see. This has all been inlaid, uh, so it's actually all in there. And there's a cupboard down below, There's that's where the... Um, the actual mechanism of the bobbin sander actually stays in that part in that compartment there I've got an MVR switch just there so if it does accidentally cut the power it won't come back on without me knowing about it and it's for safety as well but in the bottom here I will grab all this uh, on the bottom of here and I'll pull the door open now as you can see in the bottom of there I've got a little vacuum cleaner for cleaning off all the dust and everything else and the pipe for that goes up through the actual unit itself so I don't have no pipe sticking out the only thing that's actually coming out of the back of this uh, machine is the actual power lead that's plugged into the wall socket I built these little bins here I'll show you these little bins um, they, they, will, they hold all the inserts that's on the top of there look they hold all the little inserts if I can get that back in, um, there's another, so, so they, they're all there, and I've got a room for some spanners in behind, and there's a little room, there's a little spanner, sorry, there's a little spanner just there for tightening up the nut on the top, and this one here, I don't think I've, I've got some spare, some spare uh, sandpaper bobbins in there, as you can see, and this one down here, this one keeps all my bobbins um, so they're little drawers in the side there that actually make all this work 
and I put some vents in the back as you can see for ventilation of the uh, of the vacuum cleaner so it, it, it won't uh, overheat in the actual um, cupboard there I, that I built that clicks together like that and and this uh, the, you undo these here and that takes the whole front of there off if you need to get actually into the mechanism itself. Now I'll take you around the back because it, I know the back's not the most interesting thing in the world um, but I, you, you can see there's the power cord that I put on there and you can see all the louver vents that I put in so it keep, keeps the motors actually clean as possible or well, not so much clean but uh, actually is uh, as cool as possible uh, put it that way and uh, there's a vent in the bottom there for the vacuum cleaner it's all on movable casters so I can move it around my shop as you can see and that is basically it really but I've, I've lined it all with hardwood um, on the corners and everything else not just for protection but it is helps for you know it, the aesthetics of it I suppose it, it, it's helped that as well it does make it look a little bit more presentable and as you can see there you are I'll zoom up on that and you can you, you can you can see that all the bobbins are actually in there and that's basically it really but it took a little time to to get this right as you can imagine because of the white top that I have on there I just could not get any at the time um, I tried all my different resources, you know, I even tried eBay of all things and they never had any either and if, if I did want to get anything I had to get it from overseas which would cost a pre pretty packet. So uh, there we are, just a quick overview of the of the um, bobbin sander. I'll uh, put you back on the stand and I'll show you it actually working. Right here we are, now I've just hooked it up to the uh, to the mains and uh, you can see that it all works and everything else. This is just a, a bog standard bit of ply. Um, so um, let's um, give it a try. Let's give it a whirl. It doesn't make a little bit of a racket. So uh, there we go. That, that sanded that off pretty good. I know it's just a straight piece, but you're supposed to do curves with it and all the rest of it, but I just wanted to do it for this demonstration anyway. So, there we go. Bob and Sander project. Now, I do have a lot of other, as you've can have you as you've seen, I've, I've got all the bigger bobbins and everything else that goes in there. I am going to 3D print some more uh, inserts to go on here that gives better dust collection because these ones here the, the holes in the top of here for dust collection isn't the best in the world so I'm going to 3d print some new uh, inserts for to go in there with some bigger holes in it I can't really just drill these out enlarge them and everything else because the the holes are very very close to the actual big center hole where the bobbin actually comes up through so um, that's pretty well it really you know I've just got to like I say free prints and new ones so uh, when that's done it'll be absolutely up together and spiffing so they say in English so there we are quick tour about what I've been up to and uh, well quick tour of the workshop anyway um, of all the different bits and pieces and uh, I will see you next time and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and uh, just up the side there I'll post all the links for the uh, uh, social media sites and don't forget go on to my uh, 3D warehouse site and you can download some of my 3D, uh, 3D prints or some of the projects that I've actually made in 3D SketchUp so I will see you next time bye bye before you go there's something I've got to show you just here. New machine. The 
Jacksminster Cyclone Dust Collector. What a machine this is.